What is going on guys? We're back with another video. Today we are doing another 10 year sim in that 19 connected franchise. It is of the New York Jets, a team that is pretty bad. Let's just call it that way. Sam Darnold, not the worst decision in the world, but yeah, they're missing quite a bit on their team. This is not going to be an easy one for us. Obviously a 10 year sim. We're not trying to totally rebuild the team. We're allowed a move or two, uh, really one move to gain a player per season. Um, where's your eyebrows, bro? Where's his eyebrows? Does he has he has eyebrows? That's that's a lie. That's that's not a truthful. It's like a unibrow shadow. But yeah, we're allowed one move to gain a player every season, so it's not going to be an easy thing. You know, we basically get to make ten choices throughout the year. I think because we're going to be bad, I'm going to let the AI deal with uh, with the off season. See, this this uh, is a decently new update for rosters. I'm gonna I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm going to go on to the playoffs and hope some huge name makes it a free agency. Just some big I don't even know. Just some crazy name. So of course we didn't make the playoffs. We went five ten. Really? Did we have to get that that one tie? Literally that one tie. Very well could be. Who was it against? The Broncos could easily be the difference between like four to five spots, which is crazy, but it's true. Tom Brady wins MVP. Darnold, 27 touchdowns, nine picks, 4,200 yards. Probably not good enough for uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year. If it is, that'd be insane. Curse, probably a normal dev because, uh, yeah, I was about to say, I would assume with a season like that, that low on the depth chart probably means he gets an upgrade. Nope, it was the Browns and Rams yet again. Could we see a new name, please? Are they really that primed to win? And I totally made a mistake. I went straight to the draft. Tevin Coleman, that would have been a name I probably would have went with, if we're being honest. We need a running back here, and clearly, that's not going to be solved anytime soon. Okay, number four. So we were still really good. If we didn't get that tie, though, we might have had number two. So we traded pick four, pick 68 this year, and 66 next year for a seven, and then the Dolphins next year first round pick. Ooh, this guy's actually good. Mid first. I'm going to take Conrath. 83 overall. Supposed to be going number one overall. That is a very good receiver. 99 medium route. 94 catching. He's a little low on the jumping. A little low in the excel and agile, but decent speed. I think that was a good decision, though, because obviously the Jets, they need offensive firepower. No question about it. I'm going to let the AI deal with this now, though. So I'm desperately hoping we take a running back. I don't even know if I seen I saw the early second rounder, but I don't know if I seen anyone else. I think we made a good choice with that wide receiver. I I really wanted to get some sort of defensive player, but Robbie Anderson and him both being tall freaks could become one of the better tandems in the league, depending on how he devs up. So they go do go with DN though, which is another position of need. Frederick Scott, if he had better dev, like he's a little raw, but I mean he definitely is a decent pick for a second round. I can't even be mad. Paul, uh, normal dev, Anton Paul. And then Christian Tepper, quick dev, left tackle. A bit of a steal. So the AI actually did a pretty good job. Not really sure how he went down in overall. We must have, like, he must have just let a lot of guys go. I mean, we got a better wide receiver. I don't even know. It sucks. The Scott guy we got is a very low overall here as a uh, right outside linebacker. How good is Jordan Jenkins at coverage? I might just switch us to a 4 3, which would be very interesting. He's not great in coverage, but I think. Honestly, at this point, it might be the only move. So we moved the team up to a 76 overall. Obviously, there's an upgrade there, too, uh, there as well. So 78 overall, 76 overall. I feel like we uh, better equip this team to succeed. It seems like there's a little bit less holes on defense now that we moved it around. So at least the pass rush won't be nearly as bad, like, at all. 5 and 11, so it's actually worse. Uh, so that's Okay. Sam Darnold getting more yards, but holy crap, he threw 11 more picks. I don't know if he was just taking more risks. And we're running the ball poorly, so I don't know what that's about. I do like the fact that our rookie did get over 1,000 yards. Touchdowns were low. Quincy and Noon one now coming out of nowhere. Another dev up probably, yep. Very interesting stuff. I'm not a huge fan of it, though. Let's take a look at what the winner of the Super Bowl looks like. Is it going to be Browns and Rams again? If it is, I'm going to cry. I think it's going to be Texans. Nope. Packers, uh, Steelers, Steelers get their revenge. And finally, I'm not going to forget to go uh, into free agency. 70 mil. That's quite a bit of money. 
I normally don't fight for a guy like Derrick Henry. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you actually for real? They let Darren Lee hit free agency. I don't think so. I'm going to allow this. I mean, he even went up in debt. Maybe that's why he's so expensive and they didn't want to spend that much on him. In fairness, he is getting a quite a bit of money here. But yeah, I'm going to allow that as a free move because I don't understand why you would get rid of your best linebacker. Hopefully we get him back because I did low, you know, not a huge upgrade. Okay. Not a huge amount of money, but enough. Right back in the slot. Looking good. Middle linebacker, we probably need a backup. Let's see what the AI can do. I don't know what picks we have. I'm going to take a quick look. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm going to see it at the end of the day anyway. So let's, uh, let's go on. Draft recap. Pick two and five. Now, I will say I feel a little bit bad because they did go middle linebacker. Quick dev. He deserves a start. He will start over Jordan Jenkins. So there's that. Uh, Jordan Sears. Quick dev. Rather slow. I can't be mad at the pick, though, because he is very good. He's just a little slow. They also go with a running back, Ace Darby. I mean, if we didn't make free agent moves at all, I would say they did one hell of a job trying to fill the, the positions they lost and gain new positions that they're just missing. But yeah, they literally signed, they drafted two positions that we just got in the draft uh, in free agency, which is really weird. Uh, they probably should have just taken James. Probably should have taken James Cole with uh, pick two, and then they could have grabbed somebody else. And we didn't even need a linebacker. So we're a 77 overall. Still not getting up there in the overalls. I think the offensive line is playing a pretty big factor, though, because we're definitely getting better. Derrick Henry is a huge upgrade. That's like what a 14, 15 point upgrade. Uh, Conrath, he's way better than last year. Darnold's like four points up again. Defensively, Darren Lee's up. Williamson's up. Franklin's like six overalls up from the last position. Cornerback's a little bit lacking, I can agree with. D-line, not really much of a change. So the fact that we didn't really go up and overall is a little confusing. Here we are headed to the playoffs. Are we in it? We are. Okay, so 9-7. and seven. The reason why I actually had some optimism is I seen we were like 6-1 and one at one point, but we did lose quite a bit of games. Uh, it was like middle of the season. You can see we lost far, five out of six games. Really did not finish well at all, but it was enough to win, make a playoff spot. Could have had the, actually the division title if we just didn't choke it away. Sam Darnold, back to the same touchdown to pick ratio. He's never going to be one of those 30-plus touchdown guys, it seems. Derrick Henry, not a 1,000 yards rushing, but he did have 11 touchdowns, so that, you know, I feel a little bit better about it. Conrath, not great. A very spread offense, even though we're, we ran a vertical zone. I, think, I don't even know what we ran, to be honest. Uh, lots of sacks allowed. That's the real big thing we're missing. Tepper is just not doing well, but... Then again, the whole unit's rough, so it is what it is. Scott, he's going to, I guess he can't go down in dev. Ooh, Tremaine Johnson. Really? How does he not go up in dev with a six-pick season in a league like that? Kicking was terrible. Do we win any awards? Probably not, right? Any awards at all? Ooh, the cornerback. Thank you, Jesus. That's a huge one because that means that guy's dev didn't matter. Really, he even won a, an award and he didn't go. We're, we're definitely getting better. We were 77 overall. Now we're an 82 with the playoff spot. Going against the 8-8 eight eight Chiefs. Can we win one game? We can. All right. We win by quite a bit, too. Going against the Browns. We beat the Browns that are glitches. 9-7 and seven against the Jags. And we do lose. But, hell, that is a great, great job. Do we have anybody in the Pro Bowl? So, Jacoby Brissett with a uh, Pro, Pro Bowl spot. Obviously, I know it's not the Chargers League. I'm just... Any charger I like to to think is my own, you know. I don't honestly know how many guys we would have had. Uh, Sheldon used to be a guy on the team. Anyone? Sears? Okay, Sears. Tremaine and Sears. All right, that's a little shocking. Marcus May. Okay, so, I mean, we got a couple of guys. It's better than not having a couple of guys. Well, depends, I guess, when you're going to say that phrase, I suppose. At least we see some new faces. The Panthers win the Super Bowl. Finally, something new. Christian McCaffrey. Allen Robinson. That's a new face. You don't really see him. Lots of offers for a normal dev guy. Definitely nearing the end of his career. It's a little uh, surprising, I suppose. Andre Hall. Has he had any sort of man coverage? Ooh, he could play corner. How old is he? 29. Ugh. If he had better dev or he was like 28, I'd probably fight for him. 
Xavier Woods, that's another new name. I don't think he has any man coverage. So I'd rather just go with like a surefire talent. Awuzie a little bit. Nah, he's not even that expensive because you have the rest of the teams uh, that are not really offering him much at all. That should be an easy win. All right, so let's take a look. I don't know if we got him because I turned auto on. We did get a Wuzier, so our cornerback core is actually very good now. 285 overalls. Tremaine Johnson's on the way out. Honestly, I might release him on my own because he's probably getting paid bank. And I am not about that life. 29, actually. So right end, Rayner. Uh, not super great. Honestly, just a terrible pick. But they did find a steal at middle linebacker, which, once again... I don't know how we have so many middle linebackers or linebackers in general. And I don't even know why, but we do. Pick 29, though. Was there a better choice? I would think a wide receiver, honestly. I know it's not easy to find wide receivers at the end of the first. but Or offensive line, actually. That's a huge one for us. Yeah, we should have went O-line. Uh, I don't even know what the hell we're going to do with Cavill because he's good. But, I mean, Williamson's still going strong somehow. 29 quick. He is probably about to croak it, though. So... Defensive tackle and offensive line is what we're aiming for, in my opinion. All right, so we have some young faces. If we can get another playoff berth, I think we can look pretty good. Really? 6 and 10. Now, that's a little shocking because we, I believe, were 6 and 3. I kid you not. I think we were. I, th I think those numbers add up. We lost. What was that? Is that 7 straight? Nice. Nice job, guys. Seven straight losses. I mean, there, there's just only a special team that can do that. And I mean special. Derrick Henry, probably normal dev. Quick debt. I don't understand how that's even possible. Uh, maybe it goes by how well they did according to what they're supposed to. Like the scheme, maybe? I don't know. Robbie had a great season. Anunwa. Star dev Anunwa. A little late, buddy. You're 30 now. Take a look at the offseason. We're not in it, which or we are, we're going to be in it, but not in the playoffs. The uh, Rams beat the Jags. I feel so sorry for the Jags, right? It's it's unfortunate. We have a top pick. The AI usually does a decent job with top picks. I'm just hoping there's an offensive lineman here. Kyle Vander... Uh, uh, Kyle? Leighton Vander Ash, you idiot. I keep saying Kyle. Uh, we do have a guy like J.J. Watt. Michael Gallup. Uh-oh. That could be our guy. Is Robbie still? Robbie is still there, though. We really, like, I'm. we really need an offensive lineman. Isaiah wins there, but he sucks for Devin, even though he has star. And he's getting a huge offer. There's some really good names in here, but I think with wide receiver being a huge need coming up, Robbie Anderson's 29 with normal. I think I'm going to have to pay Michael Gallup, who, ironically, isn't really getting paid a lot here. I could probably get away with a 90 point. But I'm just going to make sure we get him. Not even overpaying anyways. Let's take a look at the draft recap. See who we got. And with fifth pick overall, they do go offensive lineman. Only a quick dev. Ooh, 86 strength. But quick dev. Finally an offensive lineman. Defensive tackle was a big need as well. Terrible pick. But, I mean, I guess I'm happy. David Corner, 6'6". Six six. Uh, not very fast. Good quarterback, though. Kind of worries me that Darnold could be on the way out with a guy like him being... Drafted pick number five. Who was there for the taking? So sadly, two linemen went before. Very old for this guy. He's strong as hell, though. Uh, Pearson Baldwin seems to be the best lineman of the three that I see. Uh, any uh, other names? Good. Wow, this guy's fast. Connor Blake. Damn, that guy's really good. What's his jumping, though? 76 jumping only. Yikes. Maka Payne looks very fast. 24, quick dev. I wouldn't have been too mad with a guy like that either. Let's go on, though. I believe we are in the middle. We're at the hump. Right, let's go to the playoffs. I know a lot of the other teams are looking probably really good as well, but we started the season as an 81 overall team. Even if we don't make it, I want to at least see some progress. Didn't make it. We did go 7-9. The Patriots are 3-13. and We're an 86 overall, though. Okay, so let's first see a little bit of the stats. Not all of it, just a little bit. So touchdowns way down. Tell me we had a lot of rushing. We did. Der uh, Henry's got to be star, right? Really? No star dev after that? Okay, Robbie Anderson, what's your dev? Quick, we might have a lot of normal and uh, just normal, honestly. Yeah, a lot of normal dev guys, but all of our receivers are fine in overall, so that's good. Once again, I don't think the draft is necessarily worth it at this point. 
Uh, we were 7-9, so it could be a decent pick, though. Derrick Henry dropped four overalls. Running back will be needed next season. So Robbie Anderson's making a bit, but they just re-signed him. Why did they re-sign him to such a huge deal? Just like a season ago, they were signed into like a five-year, $50 million deal as an 82 overall. This is why half these sim teams are so trash. 102, I mean, that's fine with me. That's our biggest need. I'm not saying it's going to be enough to push us over. It's really? Decliner. Okay. Googly Doogly. <laughs> His name is actually basically Googly Doogly. All right, Trent Williams, come with us. 83 overall guy. I know I could draft, but once again, I think the AI does just and just good enough of a draft, uh, of a job drafting. Trent Williams moves to left tackle. Marshall, kind of big, but we'll put him at guard. Let's take a look at that draft recap. Who did we end up with? So Lane Sauter, another right tackle, or another lineman, anyways. Quick dev. Not a bad lineman, in fairness, this time. Nahimaya Son, say, Sar, Sayer. Jesus, I'm smart. Uh, I think with a guy like him who's not super great, I think we can move him to left end and maybe move Leonard to DT. Because if they don't want to draft DT, we're going to have to do something. Decent free safety. Strong safety, uh, Shaynard Peterson. He's 24, but he's a very good save corner. <laughs> what is he? What is he? <laughs> so pick 11. I don't know there really would have been much better, though. They did pretty good. Maybe not in the first round, but the rest of the picks were pretty solid. Quay Ward, very good linebacker, but once again, not a position we needed. So I'm honestly shocked they didn't take him because they'd love to do it. Another middle linebacker, tight end, super slow. 89 offense, 93 defense. Cavill needs to start. I don't know how Williamson is literally ageless. Even after being benched, he's ageless. Sawyer, say, Sawyer, Sawyer. That's the name I was trying to say. Sawyer is a 77 overall. At left end, Scotty's at 86, Leonard's at 95. Uh, so, I mean, looking pretty good. I like where we're at. Please, playoff gods, let us have one more trip. We, last time we made it, we made it to the championship game, I believe, and lost to the Browns. They're like the glitchiest team in the world. Oh, no, it wasn't the Browns. It was someone else. I can't remember. Was it the Jags? It might have actually been the Jags. I don't even know. For the love of New York, please let us in. And they don't. Nine and seven. How I really wonder how close we were. Let's see. Did we lose a bunch of games at the end? We lost the last three. I would say there's a good chance if we win any of those games. I don't know if any of them were uh, the Finns. But if we win any of those games, I'd say we made the playoffs. And we would have. We were seven. We were the seventh team. Three straight losses. You notice any of the, uh, the the teams in the playoffs here that uh, lost a bunch in a row? Wow, the NFC was rough. Because I don't. And that's the thing. <laughs> Three straight. That was the damn playoff. Sam Darnold finally hits 30 touchdowns, but he gets under 4,000 yards for the first time. Derrick Henry, quick dev still, but it's not going to matter. He's going to be irrelevant. Uh, receiving Robbie Anderson, you should be off the team, buddy. Probably the only guy with star on the offense in general. Honestly, the entire offense... I don't think there would be a guy with star other than him, which is crazy to say. Moses Franklin, uh, still superstar dev. I don't know how that's possible, but it is. Jordan Sears, four picks. Normal dev, really, with four picks? It is what it is, and there's that. So, I mean, we're, you know, that was year six finished. Another missed season of playoffs. We had one playoff season. That should have been it again, but three straight losses right at the end of the season. Ravens 28 to 10 over the Giants. I don't know how much money we would have. 10 mil. We lo oh wow, we lost both our running backs and we only have 10 mil. Usually there's good running backs, so that should be good. They let the best linebacker on the team go. I mean, to be honest, oh, and they let our best cornerback go. Why are the Jets the worst team in the NFL? The linebacker I can maybe see because we've been finding a lot of linebacker success and a guy like him would be getting paid a lot. But the cornerback, not a chance. Although you could see here, the team that drafted Cole, the uh, the cornerback counterpart, counterpart, also released their guy. Uh, Sears, who's normal dev, is getting a huge offer from the Dolphins. James Cole, star dev still, not getting as much of an offer. Not a really a zone corner. But hey, maybe the, the Jets knew what they were doing. Maybe they, they planned this all along. They were going to get the guy they should have always gotten. Although... 
with the way free agency works, you have to overpay the hell out of these players. So I don't know. He's going to become one of the highest paid corners in the league. So I don't think we're even going to get the line. We might lose both. Okay, so we do get Cole, but Franklin, of course, doesn't accept. So linebacker is back on the board for needs of our team. Also offensive line because Tepper's about to move back to left tackle, and he's 28 anyways. AJ Tolliver, normal dev. Ah, oh, it's one of those run stopper types with no speed. I mean, I guess at least they took the position. Trey Hawkins, I think we did actually need a running back. He's actually pretty solid. Good elusiveness, good speed and all that. Cornerback Gibson. No, thank you. Middle linebacker did find a 75 overall in the later portion. He's kind of fast. He actually might start. I think this guy will be the starter for us at right outside. Definitely a bit of a downgrade this season in talent, though. Are we going to finish with one playoff trip? And that's it. Is that all we're going to get? And that might be the case. 8-8. Eight and eight. The division seems to be getting weaker, at least. At one point, we were 5-4, and four, so we might have just finished the season out pretty neutral. Uh, at this point, we were that 5-4, and four, like I said. So 5-4 and four here, I think. And then we went 5-5, uh, five 5-6, five, five and 6-6, six, 6-7, six and 7-7, six, six and 8-7, seven, 8-8. Seven and seven, eight and seven, eight and eight. Winning that final game would have been nice. At least we finished out a little bit better than the last few seasons. But still, it wasn't enough to get the job done. Sam Darnold has his best season yet, and it wasn't good enough. Trey Hawkins, not a bad season for, you know, first-time starter. Robbie Anderson, is he a superstar? He's still star. He might have dropped down and came back up. Conrath, quick dev. Yes, indeed. I suppose I'll take a quick look at defense. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but take a quick look anyways. Uh, Sawyer doing pretty good. Uh, Cavill might be decent. Same with a Wouzier. So, year eight coming up. It's getting rough out here. If we could just get rid of Robbie Anderson. I know he's getting a lot of yards and touch, well, touchdowns mainly. But he's costing the team a lot of money right now. Which is the main reason why we can't afford half the re-signings on this damn team. So maybe we'll have a little bit more money this year. Maybe Robbie Anderson retires. Star dev guys usually don't though. Please offense. Robbie, where are you? Yes, Robbie's gone. He retired. There we go. Marcus May is gone. Clean the swamp, whatever the damn thing is. Was uh, So DT, tight end, something like that. Kenny Clark is a defensive tackle. Couldn't see the, the screen there. He's asking for a lot of money, though. Star Dev, very good overall. He wants a four-year 56 mil. Can we afford something like that? Because if we can, I know, you know, I really don't like to get a you know a better player that's kind of better or kind of younger and then replace the original guy but at the end of the day that could be a good move although how much cheaper would this even be actually take a look at the draft recap i don't even know what the hell we would have probably went for and of course it's dp dp okay <laughs> that's another story isn't it carter campman 24 years old rookie quick dev He's a great finesse type, and he's kind of fast. He kind of played DN more than DT, which is weird. Uh, Cameron McBean. Oh, my God. Star Dev, super speedy. Who's the fastest player? Was it a wide receiver? Our wide receiver? It was. Okay. Oh, technically. Ooh. Oh, when did they get him? Pick six. Star Dev, 21 years of age. God damn, he's good. Please. Please, one more. Just one more. I don't even remember when the last time we made it was. I really don't. Oh, <gasps> what? Wait, what? Seven and oh, <laughs> what the hell? I, mean, I got to show you guys our. I mean, we went seven and nine. I don't know what I could really show you. Like I really, I don't know. I don't know where I would want to only go seven and nine to make the playoffs. I if I want seven and nine playoffs, I'm a crazy person. Sam Darnold, pretty decent season. Hawkins is terrible. What is he, a normal dev? When did he get star? Like, he didn't go down in dev when he really should have. I don't, I don't know. He's lucky, I guess. Cameron McBean, obviously, he's not going to go down in dev. He didn't really do badly, though. He gained, like, what, six overalls? It's pretty good. Uh, easily the best dev uh, offense. Well, I guess the running back, too. Easiestly the best devs on the offense. Kenny Clark, first season. Goes, I believe he wasn't a superstar before. I think he went up. Let's take a look. 
Yep, he went up in uh, dev, so it, it seems like that was the best move. Leonard Williams, normal dev. After the playoffs are over, I will be releasing him. Unless, once again, he is getting cut anyways just for not getting re-signed. Offensive rookie of the year, McBean. Wow, look at the difference. I'm pretty sure they're both the same dev, but look at Because Breckner wins Offensive Rookie of the Year... He went up to a 91 while McBean's an 81. Oh, that is so tragic. Let's take a look at Breckner because, in fairness, he could be one of the best receivers I've ever seen, especially if he got a speed upgrade. All right, the Bengals are 12-4, and four and they're playing away, uh, which is crazy, and we lost by three. It wasn't a big score considering how much better of a record they had, but a loss is a loss, and it's disappointing. Put it that way. 35-27, to 27, the Redskins win a Super Bowl. Receiving threats are the same all of ever. Gallup is looking worse. I feel like we lost Tepper before he was ready, so I think we might have let him go to free agency. Defensively, they did not get rid of Leonard Williams. I will be doing that on my own. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, wait. I'm so confused. Is he not making any money here? I'm just, I actually don't even know. Oh, this is a resign period right now. Maybe that's why? I don't even know. I don't know how that would make any sense, though. Linebacker, maybe Gillisley could be replaced, but I'm not really worried about it. Offense, new wide receiver, new running back, new O-line. So I don't know how we got so much cheaper with the same guys. I don't know. I, did, I don't know. Usually when they progress through their career, the money gets higher. So who do we get here? Uh, a run stopper, it seems. It's a great linebacker, but I think I'd rather go with a corner. However, I don't think there's going to be one here. See, you can't just waste it, so I might just have to take that linebacker and put him over Gillisley. He's a pretty good player, in fairness, so... Rejected. Wow, that's... I mean, he went 11 overalls higher. How many How many more do we need to do? But yeah, I think the running back is the bigger need, technically. So, if he doesn't have better than Quick, it was a bad pick. Quick dev, 76 overall. Underwhelming as hell, and that was just a terrible pick. And I didn't really have much success either. This is easily the worst draft we've had. Maybe even in... Now, I would say this is the worst draft. Of a draft that we've had a first-round pick, easily the worst draft we've had in a 10-year sim. Matt Alexander, good linebacker. Run stopper again, though. Uh, what is... Uh, where was our guy? So we were 21. That pass rusher must have been shortly behind. He was right outside, wasn't he? Yeah, Jason Henderson. Uh, quick dev, 79 overall. Very fast. Really good. He's honestly one of those guys that could go top five, just doesn't have the dev. Insane linebacker. It really wasn't a position of need, though. You compare uh, the DNs we have right now, they're very good. Uh, unless Scott's old. Okay, that's Leonard Williams. I don't care. He definitely is old. Scott is 29, but he's got star dev. Sawyer is 83 with star dev, I'm pretty sure. It honestly just, we didn't need it. We needed a corner or we need a corner tight end running back wide receiver and there was just none of the others let's go to playoffs though so here we are going to the playoffs are we in it again we are at nine and seven all right the dolphins back on top as well how the hell did we make the playoffs in nine and seven at one point we were six and seven we finished strong three straight wins i love it barely it had to be six seed had to be let's take a look i don't even know why i'm saying had to be it's a hundred percent six seed or it's not. It's fifth. All right. Or is it? I don't know. If the... No, it is. It is fifth. Fifth seed, which I mean, really doesn't matter. But when I start spewing nonsense, uh, Darnold has been pretty damn underwhelming. I know the yardage is nice, but lack of touchdowns overall on the team has been terrible. Uh, Hawkins, what dev is he? He's got to be quick by now. Yeah, quick dev. He's not a bad overall by any means, but still, wish he would have done better. Gallup, quick dev, that's definitely a new thing. No, he was already quick, okay. Uh, Conrath, definitely not quick. Okay, quick, is that a new thing? So he goes up in quick dev with the worst season of the two, kinda. I don't even know, I don't even care. Doesn't matter, because we made the playoffs and that's all that matters. Back-to-back -back years, this one actually a little bit more deserved. Gillisley, what dev is he? Quick dev, he's not a bad overall, kind of worked out for us. Uh, Kenny Clark, still superstar dev. Pretty solid season. Been easily the best pass rusher we've had, and he's playing defensive tackle, which is pretty amazing. AFC, no, no, no. 
Offensive break of the year, Dart. I don't even know how he got any. He didn't even look like he had a good season. Nothing at all. All right, so let's take a quick look at the overalls. Okay, okay. Offensive line has been terrible. Marshall's an okay overall now. It's been long enough, though. Uh, defense, clearly the best on the team. I mean, look at the difference in overalls. The Jags get a uh, home game by having a tie better than us. That's obviously not the reason, but here we go. We win a playoff game, so we're 3-2, and two, I believe, now in the playoffs. 4-2 and two in the playoffs, going against our division-leading Dolphins. We win 5-2 and two in the playoffs, going against my real favorite team, the Packers. There's no way. The, the Packers are so bad in Sim. There's just no chance. Okay, they win. So I'll take a look at this one, though, because in fairness, uh, it was a close one, 38-31. to 31. At least we made a Super Bowl, you know? So did we have to go through? Yeah, we did have to go through the wild card. How many close games did we have? A couple of close ones. That one killed the Dolphins. Absolutely murdered them. Uh, passing, Tucker Willis. Very good. Sam Darnold, super disappointing, man. It is what it is. We made the Super Bowl in our, uh, basically the last season we can actually go for players. I don't know who we would have lost, so we'll take a look at that before we do make a move. How much money we have? 20 mil, so enough to sign any big name we want. Wide receivers are intact, barely. McBean's going to move up the roster. He's actually done very well for himself. Might drop Dev next year, but that's all right. Tight ends in need. O-line, not really that big of a need, I suppose, but probably be looking at O-line and tight end cornerback as well o-line tight end corner any of the positions i will take miles rich is a free safety clowny so it appears the only position that actually can be taken would be safety who hopefully can convert to corner he cannot he has no ability however i will take a look at our free safety. He was 86 speed before. Maybe he went up in overall, though. 27 years of age. 88. So I think he's fast enough to play corner. So we'll first have to get the free safety. But, I mean, I guess that's the move. Hybrid players all over the place again. And because he's a safety, no one actually cares about him. So we'll be able to get him pretty cheaply, even though we're overpaying. Like, 120, and it's not really going to cost as much. And that's a voice crack. Kind of. Not really. See, yeah, I hate you all. I hate you all. That's all I'm going to say. This is one of the longest 10 years, by the way. Uh, it's almost like two hours, and rebuilds are like in the two-hour range. So, this series is getting long as hell, but I'm invested, and it was fun for me. So, can we take our Super Bowl loss, turn it around, upside down, your ma's a part-time clown. Super Bowl next year, hopefully. Here we go. We have pick 31. Watch this be the best draft we've had, ironically. Could you imagine? That's not the case. <laughs> Drico Bailey, our second-round pick, was our best pick. Technically, uh, Julius Wims is just absolutely horrendous. And I just don't care about it. It's the final season. I, as much as I'm in, you know intrigued and I'm invested I really don't want to see this uh this franchise ever again it was easily my least I I can't even I don't even know what to say it was not my least enjoyable because I was invested and the time felt like it flew by but at the same time it wasn't great and I was a little annoyed at times so I don't even know what to call it it just wasn't successful I guess last season can we make what is this three straight years I think it would I would assume it would be Nine and seven. Now, okay, we made the playoffs, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. Nine and seven. We were at eight and three at one point. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I, I don't know. You tell me. So what do we lose? Four straight then? Or kinda four out of five. Not really impressive. But here we go. Ravens lose John Harbaugh. It seems he retires. Happy retirement. Sam Darnold, 33 touchdowns, one pick. Technically his best season. Trey Hawkins, that's a normal dev. He's an okay overall, and he's pretty young still, so it is what it is. McBean could have went to super. And well, at least he stayed at star. I really thought he was going to drop. Conrath is basically retired at this point. I mean, that's just terrible. 
Uh, I probably should have changed the scheme a few more times than I did, but it is what it is. Darren Lee. What overall did Darren Lee finish as? Darren Lee. Uh, he has Superstar Dev. He's 84, though. He's not 84, though. His overall is 84. He went up in Dev, so that's very interesting. Very interesting stuff. James Cole. What Dev is he? Quick. Doesn't matter because we are in the playoffs. We don't have a bye week, but we do have a home field advantage game. The coaching stuff doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter. I, I know I'm not going to come back to this, but in case I do, we're going to get the quarterback XP trait. Quarterback, and I, probably, I would probably wait for the tight end because we've had the same tight end throughout the entire thing, which is ridiculous. I don't know how old this guy is. He's 31 now. I don't understand how he's still here luckiest person in the world i don't care if he was making veteran minimum what would that be like about eight million dollars to be the worst tight end in the league i mean that's if you're the worst at something and you finish with an eight million dollar pocketbook which obviously would be less taxes and agent i hate that we lost that's a pretty damn good deal i'd take it lost by two to the raiders of all teams i know 10 years down the line they'd probably be a different team the Browns win another Super Bowl. That makes two or three on this 10-year sim. If Madden has their way, the Browns might be one of the better, most successful teams coming up in these next few years. Could end up going as one of the best teams in NFL history. Ridiculous, but that's the way Madden sees it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. If you have any suggestions for, I don't know, anything really, uh, you know, experiments, whatever, uh, serious idea, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video.